In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a variance in SAP Analytics Cloud. With a variance, you can display, for example, a delta between actuals and budget, or a delta between two periods as seen here in this chart. We got some sales figures from December 2020 per market, and we can analyze the difference or the delta on the previous month as absolute and percentage value. Let's recreate this chart and add a bar chart to our page. First of all, I will change some styling settings and then add sales and markets to the chart. Usually, I sort dimensions from highest to lowest values because charts should always start with the important and higher values first. Now here comes an important part. Before we add a variance to the chart, we have to set up a filter to restrict these blue bars to a specific time period. In this case, I will manually pick December 2020, but of course you can set up a dynamic filter that always shows the current month, for example. I recommend to display your filter as a text. For example, you could add a dynamic text to your chart title. Right click on the title, then select dynamic text and search for your filter under tile filters and variables. Fine, now we are ready to add the variance. You can either click on these three points in the Builder tab and go to Add Variance, or you select the context menu of your chart and click on Compare To and then Previous Period. This is the easy way, but I also want to show you how to manually adjust all settings because there are cases where this might help you. So let's select Add Variance once again. Select Sales as Measure A. And then we add a time to it. I select the order date and leave the current period. As Measure B, I also select Sales and leave it to Previous Period. Under display options, we can invert the colors. That's important when an increase is something negative. That's the case, for example, for costs or complaints. And we can also activate the percentage bars. If you have not enough space, you could choose the data label or the integrated bars instead of the normal bars. However, I usually go with the classic bar because the visual effect of delta bars is quite effective. That's it. If you want to become the SAC expert in your team, then please check out my SAC masterclass on Udemy. Follow the link in the description and thanks for watching this video.